Hello, this is Balico Badge, and welcome back to more of the Curious Expedition. We are with Marcus Garvey right now. Expedition 6 of 6 on Certain Death. I think this is the first time I've actually got to Expedition 6 on Certain Death. So this is this is a, a, a defining moment for me and my channel. Not really. But even so, it's 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 a significant moment. Within this game, anyway. It, and for me. And it, it is. It, no, it is. I'm going to take it all back. It is definitely a significant moment for me in this game. Now, whether I survive or not, that is another question altogether. I guess the only way is to crack in and, 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 and see, really, isn't it? Hmm. Expedition 6 of 6. We are going to the monstrous prehistoric lands. That's not a good name. You know, it's not like the, you know, the happy-go-lucky lands or, you know, the loot overfloweth lands or anything like that. So we can expect... Nasty things. Yes. And it contains a, a buried golden pyramid. So we're going to be looking for uh, some uh, some beams, some shrines and whatnot. That's not the word I'm looking for. Beacon. That's the word I'm looking for. Beacon. Yes. Monstrous prehistoric lands. Let's do it. After rising at the break of dawn, I stored my equipment on the ship. We had a little time before the ship would be ready, so I skimmed some stones on the water. I acquired a newspaper and read about Tarana Baba smearing my reputation. It was clear that she would not be joining me on my ongoing quest. Good. Good. The collector was eager to set eyes on which instruments we had brought back with us. Well, you can have some drums. I sold him the drums. The collector was eager to look upon which instruments we had brought back with us. Well, that's it, I'm afraid, son. The collector seemed delighted with what we had sold him. Together with his newly purchased good, or goods, we left the harbour in high spirits. A military chap approached me and spoke of a deserter who had abandoned his post. I would be suitably rewarded if I could return with the, the traitor. Um, no need. No need. Because, hmm, then again, we do get some, uh, sa uh, not sanity, reputation if we kill him. Because it makes the, uh, the natives happier. We'll accept it. We'll accept it. The soldier complimented our honour and accepted We'll start that again. The soldier complimented our honour as I accepted his request. He saluted me and wished us luck before leaving the harbour. I was proud to see that stories of my exploits had lured all manner of intrigued personalities. I was approached by several capable persons that were hungry for glory and adventure. Who did I want to recruit? Do so we have Sister Prudencia, the missionary, who's a bit of a klepso? We have Anne Laurie Hugo, or Anne Law, I think that is, the cook. The cook? The cook. The cook. The cook. Uh, then we have Giselle Brent, the cultist. Hmm. There we go. Coco expert. Uh, well, we've got... We've got... We've got some decent uh, dice now. We've got a nice selection. So, I think we're going to go for Sister Prudency. I think she's going to be the, the most useful. Uh, I believe there's a missionary somewhere around here. And she also increases our sanity, which is what we're suffering on at the moment. So, Sister Prudencia, welcome. We could indeed utilise a follower of our Lord on our expedition, and welcome Sister Prudencia. I rejoiced as the vessel was primed to head for distant shores. Ah, uh, we don't have our animal anymore, do we? Hmm, that's not good. Okay, let's purchase the equipment. We need chocolate, we need rope, we need torches, we're definitely going to need some first aid. Leaves us 19. Uh, we could probably have... Hang on, how many spaces have we got here? Four. So that's all our space is taken up, isn't it? No, because they're light. No, that doesn't matter. Uh, that's all we can carry. Well, with that in mind, let's take two more? One more? No. That'll do. That's all we can carry. That's fine. We can, that's, that's a good deal. I rejoiced as the vessel was prepared to sally forth. Okay, here we go. This is it. This is the big one, guys. Boom. Expedition six. And we're generating... Please be something nice. Wonders! Awesome. I can handle wonders. Oh, and we're sailing in from quite far out. Nice. I'm just hoping some of these regions are blocked off. Because we just haven't got the manpower. Just as I thought we would never find a way through these waters, a shoreline rose in the morning mist. The foreign landscape beckoned us to explore. Well, let's explore then. Let's explore. Uh, let's... Also promote Sister Prudencia and get our sanity a bit higher. Awesome. 
respect to you and to you and to you right uh what well, we just need to get as deep in those quick as we can really so uh, let's push it no oh, it's our first question mark uh, we'll go and check that out first no hills to climb a village yeah let's hit the village early whilst they're still happy with us we entered a native village. We entered the strange encampment of a peculiar race of large lizard people. A man in a British officer's uniform welcomed us to his village. Immediately I realised this was the deserter we had been asked to find. He introduced himself as Lieutenant Conrad. Lieutenant Conrad had an air of strict dictatorship about him. Oh, he's a bit of a dick then. Right, let's escort him home. Conrad assured us he would not be coming home with us. Uh, where are you? There you are. How much health do you have? Twelve. Uh, well, fight. Let's do it. Well, so we can throw in one of those and one of those. Can we throw in one of those as well? No. Okay, well, let's hit him for a precise attack. Let's hold on to you. You and you. Roll you. Hand. That's what we wanted. Can we kick him in the face? We can kick him in the face. Uh, leaves him with six and then if we throw another one of those in that's a cutting repost for three and is there any points it probably isn't let's, let's just take the hit oh boom hardly touched me you kicked a nun you are a bastard you are a bastard let's kill him let's kill him kick him to the face boom and we shall take that Thank you. We had no choice but to kill Conrad. His military decoration would serve as proof of our actions. The villagers were thankful for his removal and returned to their common routine. Well, and now would be a good time to recruit when we're so highly regarded. I talked to the villagers to see if some of them were enterprising enough to seek fame and glory. A few moments later, I had gathered the interested, individual, uh, interested individuals and needed to decide who to recruit. So we can have a Chasmosaurus. That sounds awesome. What's a Chasmosaurus? You a Chasmosaurus? You a Chasmosaurus? Uh, Miss something, but I can't see how much you carry. That's rubbish. Okay, we can have Shaklazaza, the shaman. Oh, what do you do? Waterproof. And mushrooms. And two, two capacity, that's not bad. Uh, Shaklalas, the warrior. You can go through water and stealth. Stealth would be useful. Stealth would be useful. Uh, and that's it. So uh, I'm going to go for the warrior. I think the warrior is the best bet. So uh, yeah, the warrior. A lizard warrior joined our trek. Our time with the natives was a delight. They remained friendly and offered us more help. Uh, let's trade. What have you got for me? Uh, da, 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 da. Nothing too exciting in all fairness. We could eat the mangoes. Uh, if we had two mangoes. And I gave you some rope? No? A torch? Two torches? Hmm. How about... Yeah, I can I can spare three rope and a torch for two mango. That's fine. I reached a deal. Let's go. We got ready and headed out as new adventures could be waiting over the next ridge. And now... No, 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 no. We can upgrade you. Good for me. And we shall eat the mango. And head into the swamp. Swamp is good. Explore. This bleak and ancient place was situated in the midst of a swamp, strewn with the remains of long dead elephants. For some unfathomable reason, hundreds of the impressive animals had come here to die. Well, let's search. I was certain these were riches to be found here. Sorry, there were riches to be found here. We formed small teams and scoured the place. We inspected some skeletons and found some well-preserved tusks. They were undeniably cumbersome, but would prove valuable if we returned them home. Ah, tusk, tusk. Right, take all. And then down to the next one. Which is... I examined the strange man-made rock idol. The uncannily of crafted eyes seemed to focus on us. It was a disconcerting sight, and I desired to move on. I saw some items by the statue, which must have been put there by the natives of this region. They were surely sacrificial offerings. Let's have a look. Berries and voodoo dolls. Mm, no, I'm. I'm not going to upset them. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. 
Uh, we could do with some space, arguably. We've only got the one. But we've only got the one thing carried. We need more people. We'll find more villages, that's fine. We, we won't dwell too much on that. That looks like it might be cut off as far as the region's concerned. We're probably better heading north. Let's do this. Oh, and avoiding the raptor. Good call, good call. Oh, there's two question marks. Okay, so let's eat. Do we eat a chocolate? Yeah, let's eat a chocolate, explore what that is. Two caves, okay. We approached a cave. The entrance led into the darkness of unknown depths. We required a torch in order to venture forth safely. We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We were intrigued to discover that this was just the entrance to an underground tunnel. We're going to leave this for the time being. Let's go back to this cave. So, let's see, some more of those. Put ourselves over there. And explore that cave. We located a cave. Its opening seemed to lead deeper to the mountain. Ah, there we go. We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We found a small cavern strewn with the aftermath of what seemed to be a failed expedition. The skeleton of what must have been a British explorer stared at us through cracked eye sockets. All the bones were, we found had been cracked open and, it seemed, sucked empty of marrow. We were delighted to see the, that one of the corpses was still clinging to useful equipment. Yes, very useful. Uh, can't carry it all, mind. Uh, we shall go for the climbing rope. We won't worry about the machetes. Uh, right, so... So, 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 so... Let's eat the chocolate. And create the space. And make our way over to this question mark. Because we can always loop back around to that cave. Which looks like it's going to be the sensible thing to do with all this uh, fire and brimstone going on all over the place. Move to this cave. We approached a cave, la di da di da We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We arrived at a small cavern strewn with the debris of what seemed to be a failed expedition. The skeletal remains of what must have been a German explorer presented us with a crooked smile. Mm. All the bones we found had been cracked open and it seemed sucked empty of marrow. Well, let's have a look. We were delighted to see that one of the corpses was still clinging to useful equipment. Uh, that stacks and we can carry those now. Great. All right. Well, there's nothing else to explore here. So we might as well go back to that one cave and uh, have a peruse. Have a peruse. Uh, we do, however, need to risk life and limb by coming out of here so we can pitch a tent. Which we got away with. Uh, let's enter. Rest overnight. Oh, don't quite know what happened there. I instructed the trek to halt and told the people to rest. We were at the brink of collapse. Even the warming flames of the campfire didn't melt to ease our minds. Everybody was lost in their own troubles when suddenly Lieutenant Robert Catley stood in front of the group and shouted into our faces that not all hope was lost. He expounded about never giving up, and after a while we started to cheer and applaud ourselves. He somehow rallied the group and gave us new hope. Bloody nice bloke. Bloody nice bloke. Right, we need to rest once more. If you would, please. Rest, rest, rest. It was a beautiful night and everyone seemed to enjoy themselves. While we were resting around the campfire, Sister Prudentia jumped up and gave a speech regarding fate's hand in bringing us together to experience these majestic marvels. Lieutenant Robert Catley nodded approvingly and afterwards he seemed to have discovered a better understanding of our venture. Ah, so he was unhappy and now he's happy again. Even the lizard man smiling. Right, so let's pack up. Pack it up. Dun, dun, dun. And 27. Yeah, let's go the long way around. The less fiery way, I like to see it as. Explore. We approached a cave. We've done all this before. Da, 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 da. Explore the tunnel. Our adventure in Jordan evaded a slew of potentially cavernous calamities. When I finally saw light ahead, we moved towards it in earnest. Ah! We're on the other side. Right, so we have the one question mark we can head to. I'm thinking for the sake of continuity, I oh, will just upgrade you. Uh, oh, what did you get? Ah, some green dice. Uh, we are going to head down to this question mark here. Just, just to see what it's all about, really. See what all the kerfuffle is. Oh, it's somewhere we can rest. That's good. 
we shall rest. We arrived at a rock overhang. It would serve as a basic shelter against the elements. I instructed the trek and I told the people to rest. It was a pitch black night as we sat and stared into the fire. While we stared in the campfire, Lieutenant Robert Catley stated that these lands deserved to be rekindled through claim. Flame, even. I was unsure what he meant by that, and I was too tired to deal with his mischief presently. Uh, that's fine, that's fine, as long as you don't set a fire. We prepared for departure. Despite the looming rock, it had been a pleasant pitch. We'll do it again then. We decided it would be a good idea to stay here and allowed everyone to rest. The mood was buoyant as I ordered wood to be gathered for a fire. That night was veritably anodyne. Lieutenant Robert Catley and Shah Kalas seemed to enjoy themselves as they sat on the ground and regaled us with a tall tale. Tall, tall tale. Right, well, we better bongo on. Uh, where are we going to go to? That question mark, I guess. There's nothing else to see at the moment. When you're done. There we go. Uh, let's go. As we left, we became aware that our campfire had set fire to some nearby bushes. Before we knew what had precipitated it, the fire began to spread out of control. I suspected Shaklalas to be the fire lover and warned her to be more prudent next time. I thought the other guy was the wicked fire starter. Okay, never mind. Uh, right, well, let's go north of the question mark. Anything for anything. Oh, a slave camp. Ooh, let's enter. Uh, our trek entered at a slave camp. An acrid stench of human excrement brought tears to my eyes and cages filled with slaves were strewn throughout the area. An elegantly dressed slaver greeted me with a dirty smile. Right, so what does he have on his side? He has... A guy I can't see. Hyena. He's got 12 out of 12. And he's... Um, uh, I want to survive. I'm going to leave. As we left, we observed smoke rising behind us. Before we knew what had happened, a fire was raging. I suspected Lieutenant Robert Catley to be the culprit, but there was no clear evidence of his involvement. Have you set the slaver alight? That is awesome if you have. I dig that. I dig that. That's good. I know Marcus Garvey traditionally wouldn't have settled for that, but hell, what can I do? Uh, do I want to do that? I'm going to risk it and hope not to be satellite and hope not to be uh, sank into water. Oh, only just. All right, let's explore. We approached an immemorial structure that seemed to be partially made out of pure gold. We discovered a mechanism of sorts on one of the sides. I believe that with some ingenuity we could see it into motion, or set it into motion. However, what would happen upon activation remained a mystery. Let's have a look. It took us a while, but eventually we were able to unlock the unusual mechanism. All of a sudden, an enormous column of light launched from the seal. Oh! Right, we need to rest for a bit. Can I pitch a tent here? Couldn't have picked a better pitch. Well, let's, let's pitch a pan, pitch the pickled pepper, pepper. Yeah. <laughs> we assembled our camp. It was only increased my yearning to sleep on a feather mattress again. Do you even know how dangerous this is? No. Uh, let's rest. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep, we're fine there. It floods. It falls away, hopefully. It falls away. Nope. Okay, we're resting again then. Oh, tonight we had a paranormal incident. The spirits of dead natives appeared to us. They mourned about their deaths, caused by unnatural monsters that were breeding in a nearby cave. If we would kill the monsters, they promised that we would find a worthwhile magical reward on their corpses. Let's have a look. We accepted their plea and vowed to hunt down their killers. They seemed grateful and told us about the location of the cave. Afterwards, they disappeared into the night whence they came. Well, I'm probably going to be heading in that direction anyway. There isn't a cave there, though, friends, so I don't know what you were pointing at. All right, let's uh, pack up the camp. Uh, yes, 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 all done. Right, what are we doing? We, we yeah, we, let's get on to dry land. That's good. Ooh, an oasis. And that's the bottom end, pretty much done after that. So let's, let's go there to see what it is and then we can just come back on up and get our sanity back explore the cave we located a cave the rocky moor seemed to lead deep into the mountain we required a torch to uncover its mysteries oh i've only got the one blue dice now let's risk it for a biscuit hey 
No guts, no glory. I instructed everyone to form a line and prepare for the darkness. Our march into the darkness began. Fate smiled upon us as we marched through the dark tunnel with little toil. Eventually our eyesight adjusted to the darkness. We found a small cavern scattered with the aftermath of what seemed to be a failed expedition. The skeletal remains of what must have been an Italian explorer with many broken bones. All the bones we found had been cracked open and it seemed sucked empty of marrow. To our surprise, one of the rotted crates still held some valuable equipment. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> there. Right, well, dynamite's good. We like dynamite. We'll take the dynamite. What can we afford to live without? We can afford to live without the machetes, so we'll take the golden earrings. We could arguably live without the rope, rope or the climbing gear. We've got the guy to help us through the um, uh, the marsh and the shallow rivers. So let's get rid of the rope, which would usually help us through the marshes. And we'll have the jewels instead. Boom. And, uh, yeah, back. Yeah, back there, I think. Walk all the way around, get, see them as much as we can, and then we'll rest up. Cool. Explore. We reached a place of outstanding natural splendour. The water had a strong colouring, very likely from a geothermal groundwater. We settled down to recuperate. One soul was staring back from the abyss. We barely managed to collect enough wood to light a campfire. While we stared into the campfire, Sister Prudentia stated that these lands deserved to be rekindled through flame. I was unsure what she meant by that, and I was too tired to deal with this mischief presently. Well, whip, whip. We're okay, we're still alive. Just. Days went by pleasantly. It was most trying to convince people to pack up the crates as we prepared to leave. Bathing in the hot springs had astoundedly healed our wounds. Awesome. Look, she's so happy, she's right on top. Right on top. Let's rest again. We prepared camp to catch our breath. It was a pitch black night as we rested by the fireplace. I contemplated why I'd come here. Was this really worth the effort? All these struggles? What kind of person did it take to revel in this life of recklessness, pain and uncertainty? Only for the na naive hope of achieving eternal life through history. Would anybody really remember me once I left this world? Some deep questions, Marcus. I, I, I don't know. I am a lesser man than you, I'm afraid. Days went by pleasantly. Delicate steam placed the water as we prepared to leave. Bathing in the hot springs had astoundingly healed our wounds. Well, let's do it once more. I instructed to the trek to halt and told the people to rest. Is there anything interesting here? No. Let's rest. It's all good in the hood. It's all good in the hood. Days went by pleasantly. Mist lay heavily on the ground as we prepared to leave. Bathing in the hot springs had astoundingly healed our wounds. Awesome. Right, we can crack on. Uh, back to that question mark, I suppose. And... Uh, We'll see what that is. No, I don't want to do that. We want to avoid the raptors. So let's do that instead. Don't come my way. Shrine. We stood before a temple comprised of huge stones. Its stone walls were covered with ornate engravings. A circle of dried up blood had been drawn around the whole structure as a warning for anybody that dared to enter. I could swear I heard the sound of rushing water below the earth here. Let's do it. We arrived at what seemed to be the treasure chamber. If this place held any riches, I knew we would find them here. Our steps echoed as we approached the sacred altar. Ah, right, this is where it gets complicated. We want to keep anything with high f fame, so you can stay. Um, I'm not going to need money, am I? So let's crack that out and put that in instead. Yeah, that's good. This was not a day for hesitation. This, that's, well, that, that was exactly what we came for. We grabbed the treasure and hurried outside as enormous fountains of water burst through the ground and began to flood the surrounding area. We had to run like our lives depending upon it, depended upon it, or drown in the Grand Lake forming around us. As we moved on, we noticed smoke rising behind us. Before we knew what happened, a fire was raging. I suspected Lieutenant Robert Catley to be the one responsible. There was no clear evidence for this, his involvement. Fire and water. Oh my... Oh my. Uh, right, we just need to keep running for the hills in, I suppose. There's nothing else we can do around here. So, uh, up, upwards? Upwards and onwards? Can we? No, we need to go that way. I'm sorry. Stay away from the water. Uh, we'll go for 47. That'll take us up to the brink of that one. 
Yep, put the fire out. Who knows it? Just don't cut off. There. Yeah. Okay. So we need to keep one dynamite in order to get back. Or... No, I can just walk around, can't I? I don't need the dynamite. No, I'm fine, I'm fine. Never mind, never mind. That's uh, that's a dead region, that's a dead region. Possibly top left, we'll see in a second. Top right's a dead region. So I would suspect the pyramid's up in this, this bit here. But oh, we'll see, we'll see. Now we've got a magnetic mountain here, which probably isn't helping either. Can we get up to there? 19? No. So let's camp. Rest, rest, rest. Oh, he's paranoid now. That's fine, that's fine. We can handle paranoia. <gasps> no! No, I'm still alive. That's fine. I'm still alive. Uh, uh, not for much longer, mind. We've got to keep moving. I've lost the camp. Oh, crap. I honestly thought that water had stopped chasing me. Oh, rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Okay, um, okay, we need to use that there and just get as far away as possible, really. Uh, 32. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. No, it's still chasing me. Our group was losing faith, and the discussion between Sister Prudencia and Shaklas last, last, last escalated into a heated argument. A moment later, the pair were at each other's throats and trying to strangle each other with grave intentions. Uh, I think Prudence is probably better for us. So we'll arrest her. Clash, 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 clash. We restrained Shaklaklas and prepared the two and separated the two. The pair simmered down, but th there lingered ill will between them. Oh, and they're still being chased by water. Oh, lordy. Okay, we'll just have to keep heading in this direction. Right, so the water stopped. We are cut off. There's no way we're getting back. In fact, no, we can still use a dynamite, can't we? As long as we can get through here, we can still use a dynamite. Uh, okay, well, let's, let's see what's here. A shrine! Hooray! Hooray! Examine. The temple brought before us warranted both fear and respect. Its stone walls were covered with ornate engravings. A circle of dried up blood had been drawn around the whole structure as a warning for anybody that dared to enter. Celestial symbols of the sun, moon, and stars were carved on the various surfaces of the structure. Uh, we're not coming to this for the time being. We're going to leave that and crack on. Is there any way I can raise my sanity now? There's not, is there? Okay, I'll well, just keep on keeping on. What's this? A nest. We arrived at what seemed to be the breeding ground of a raptor net pack. Uh, we had to withdraw in haste as every second here put the whole group in peril. Let's have a look. I was confident we would find something valuable here. I instructed the people to form small teams and investigate the surroundings. We were lucky to find some old equipment on one of the piles of bones that was serving as a grotesque decoration of this place. Food. Food is good. And dynamite's good because that stacks. Not worried about the custom flares. As we moved on, we noticed smoke rising behind us. Before we knew what had happened, a fire was raging. I deduced Sister Prudencia to be the culprit, but there was no clear evidence for her involvement. Prude. Prude, prude, prude. Right, so food, 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 food. We can now move. Uh, let's go down. Let's go south. Uh, we're just looking for anything at this point. Anything at all. That's those two done. Uh, 23. Might as well go as far south as we can. Oh lordy. Uh, right. Well, he's a British soldier, so we get Santi for killing stuff. So let's kill stuff, I guess. Two of them. Ten health each. Right, we need the head. Uh, right, so can I do anything with you? No. So claws on you. That by itself is no good. What's that then? Shield? No. Let's hold on to those. And roll again. 
That's what we needed. Right, so get rid of those. We want to pull that out with some dynamite. Fill that down. And then if we throw three of those out, we can do triple attack on you. Double attack on you. Can't do anything with these. Nothing at all. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's overkill. Uh, let's kick him in the face. We deprive the dead of anything useful. Uh, we have one spare thing. Oh, Tifa expensive. That's good. That'll do. Um, we've got a bit of sanity back off that as well. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We could take on this, the Raptor pack. I don't see where else we can go over the north. There's nothing down down here. This is sort of version on the edge of of water, so that's no good. Uh, there might be something that way. Let's have a look that way. No. Okay, let's uh, let's wait. And hopefully, yeah, you'll come a little bit closer. We'll stop and attack you. Two of you. Twelve each. Okay, let's, uh, let's roll. Oh, what's that? Tail. Multi-attack. Oh, dear me. Uh, then we'll kick the one in the face. And then we'll hold on to that and roll again. Headbutt. No, no. Uh, we want to set them all alight. Boom. Let's throw in all three. Uh, we can kill you off. And then... Damage three, shield two. Cut and repost. Oh, boom. Have it. We're deprived of the dead of anything useful. What can we have now? More teeth. More teeth, more teeth. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, do we carry on pushing through here? Let's heal up first. Let's heal up. Uh, Robert can be healed. I can be healed. We sallied forth. Yes, oh, another fire. Awesome. There's, uh, I can't see me getting that in that direction. I don't think there's any more in that direction. It's all north. Or here. Let's push through. It's 39, 27. Or 30, 34, 31. Let's go to 31. Not through the fire. Our group was losing faith, and a discussion between Lieutenant Robert Catley and Shaklalas escalated into a heated argument. At least it's not fire. A moment later, the pair were throwing fisticuffs and trying to strangle each other with grave intentions. Okay. Shaklalas, not good. Not good. We restrained him. Uh, that's just burnt up all my sanity. Okay, we're going to go to there. All the way through. We want to We want to fight stuff. Can you believe that? We want to kill stuff. Here we go. Two. Two, two, two. Well, right, so... If I throw that in, and we do a multi-attack for eight, that leaves them four each. Uh, we can kill the one off dead away. We can f kick the other one in the face. Evade? No, we need to keep hold of those. Uh, roll. I'm going to take a defend because this probably isn't going to go according to plan now. Oh, it is. Boom. Uh, deprived of stuff again. More teeth. Oh, it only stacks to... Hmm. I'm going to drop those and I'm going to take the raptor skin instead. No, I'm going to take the food instead. Yes. All right. So, uh, 30 sanity. Let's let's uh, jog on. Hope for the best. Okay. Well, uh, well better than nothing, I suppose. 24. Let's do it. 
Ooh. I became aware of an argument between the two. I'll tell you what. Maybe it's Robert Catley, which is the pain. Let's, let's rebuke him. I informed Lieutenant Robert Catley that his accusations were unfounded. This did not sit well with him, as he was furious and he was furious afterwards. Right. Uh, we approached what seemed to be a cluster of raptor nests. I ordered everyone to be vigilant of overstaying our welcome, as every second here put the whole group in peril. I was confident we would find something valuable here. We formed small teams and scoured the place. To our surprise, there was some equipment still intact on one of the humanoid bone piles that was serving as a grotesque decoration of this place. Uh, well, we wanted food, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's take let's take those. We can use those now. As we sallied forth, we noticed smoke rising behind us. Before we knew what had happened, a fire was raging. I suspected Sister Prudencia to be the one responsible. There was no clear evidence for her involvement. Right, let's let's shoot let's shoot these off. So you are good. You are good. Uh, you are good. Right, so. We've got no sanity anyway, so we might as well step around as much as we want to. <gasps> I don't want to burn. I don't want to burn either. If I promote her, do I get some sanity back? 40. Get me up on that hill, sharpish. Right, okay. Explore. We approached a mysterious structure that seemed to be partially made out of pure gold. We discovered a mechanism of sorts on one of the sides. With some effort, we would hopefully be able to trigger it. However, what would happen upon activation remained a mystery. It took us a while, but eventually we were adept enough to decipher the mysterious mechanism. All of a sudden, an enormous column of light emerged from the seal. And yet there is more to find. Jesus. Okay, well... Uh Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go south. I suppose it's only a matter of time before someone. Here we go. Gets annoyed. The ongoing physical stress numbed our senses and led to the negligent pathfinding. Shaklala stepped into a spear trap. It looked old and rotten. The spears were covered with blood and innards. The wound was surely infected. Oh dear. Well, let's crack on. We can heal him up in a second. Another shrine. Uh, right. Let's heal him up first. What? We used the first aid kit to treat the injuries of Shaklalas. She had more colour in her cheeks after so why? Oh, mine is injured. Mine is injured? Mine is injured. Right, okay. Uh, let's examine the shrine. A shrine towered above us. Time had taken its toll on the structure. I could make out an entrance on the upper platform. We would have to climb the exterior walls in order to reach it. Celestial symbols of the sun, moon and stars were carved on various surfaces of the structure. Ah, uh, well, sod it. Let's, let's climb our safety. Ah, oh, and we did it too. Of course, we, of course we did. Of course we did. We had no choice but to try our luck. I ordered everyone to be careful and scale the shrine without safety measures. Nothing could stop us. A few hours later, we reached the shrine portal. I was very proud of this intrepid team. We carefully entered a well-preserved ceremonial chamber. It was a truly awe-inspiring sight. Our step echoed as we approached the sacred altar. Now, if there's a, a god, if there is a god... Then there will be a port, uh, a, a what's it called? A script, a a tome of getting me the hell back to my ship quickly. That uh, that is if there's a god. There's no god. There's no such thing as god. Right. Okay. We're gonna drop the uh, first aid kit. Take take the golden skull. Are we worried about the moonstone? We probably should be, shouldn't we? Let's take the Moonstone. We've got plenty of uh, animal teeth. We'll take the Moonstone. That's good. I would not leave empty-handed. The artifact would sit atop the altar no longer. As we took what we came for, I noticed a black nothingness began to form atop the altar like a pinprick in the flesh of reality. It was expanding steadily, visibly, destructively. All we could do was run as far away from it as possible and hope. As we sallied forth, we noticed smoke rising behind us. Before we knew what had happened, as fire was raging, I suspected Lieutenant Robert Catley to be the culprit, but there was no clear evidence of his involvement. All right, so, well, we need to get the bloody hell out of here. So, we just travel east, 71. Why not? Let's do it. No, 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 cancel, cancel. <sighs> okay. Right, um, we are going to wait. <laughs> We're going to wait. 
that's fine it's just the abyss growing behind us and now we're on fire yee-haw yee-haw let's move to there right now let's move to there there and then over to there no we're not good no, we're not good. I had already been resting when I was awoken by a loud gunshot. I immediately ran to aid Sister Prudencia against an attack, but to my horror I found her dead on the ground, killed through my own gun. How could this have happened? I dug her grave till dawn, then buried her. Okay, well, we just... Oh, we've got to get rid of stuff now. Um, okay, let's, let's drop the teeth. Oh, we're good, okay. And crack on. And hope for the best. No more fire. To be spreading, please. Oh, no, here we go. Next thing. And we lost the lizard warrior. I had already withdrawn myself when I was awoken by a loud gunshot. I immediately ran to aid Shaklalas around, uh, against an attack, but to my horror I found her dead on the ground, killed through my own gun. I was unwilling to think too deeply about what had occurred here. I cried all night. Right, now, this is a decision I have to make. I don't think it's worth me carrying on. Because if I, if I lose Lieutenant Robert Catley, I will not be able to return by using the airboat. And I'm definitely not getting back to my ship by myself. So I think I'm going to have to call it quits here and just take my most expensive stuff. Which as it stands... I've got a few expensive things. That's fine. That's fine. We can crack on. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. The hot air balloon would take days to be ready. It only offered limited space. Everything that would not fit would stay behind. So let's ready the balloon. Oh, we've got four. That's not too bad. So we'll take back all the gold. All the gold. And escape. Not how I would like to end the final expedition of a character, but for the sake of actually getting home and surviving, it's the only way, sadly. We finished our preparations and boarded the balloon to begin our flight back home. I just hope that the gold's enough to edge us over first position. Uh, we'll soon see, though. Because we get nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Extraordinary. I'm overwhelmed. All right, so... This is wonderful. Well, we'll soon see. So, we are... Oh, this is bad. So, no, there's no chance. We're not going to have 400... Gift it, gift it, gift it, gift it. We're not even going to get close to second position, are we? Disgusting. Disgusting. So we were 77 behind. Disappointing. Disappointing. But we did finish, I suppose. So that in itself is a win. At least I'd like to think, anyway. Well, there you go. Marcus Garvey. A uh, bit of a letdown towards the end. I, I, I scuttled myself when I... I lost my campsite. That was that was the big turning point. I honestly thought the water had stopped chasing me. I didn't notice it was still underneath me. And uh, that's it. As, as long as you're, you play it safe in this game, generally you're okay. But obviously I uh, didn't play it safe enough. Oh well, never mind. Rank third. Not my statue. Never mind. We survived. We survived. Marcus Garvey returned to the breathtaking mountains of Scotland in triumph. He lived for many years. Some were good, some were bad, but never shined his star as bright as when he sallied forth around the world in quest, in quest for glory. Until the very end, he would be reminded of failing his ultimate goal. Yeah, nice, nice. Lieutenant Robert Catley returned to his home and lived a secluded life. After some years, he re released even his memoirs, which did not achieve much public attention though. He named his first child after the combination of a butterfly and waterfall from one of the adventures. He lived a long, humble life and died in the presence of his faithful pet. Thanks for playing. Well, there we go. Technically, that is a win. I survived on sudden death to Expedition 6. I didn't finish, but I did survive. So, yeah, not all bad, I don't think. I like to think. Yeah, it's a bit, yeah. I can't really get on top of that. I'm, yeah, I'm a bit, yeah, I'm a bit. It's it's a win. We'll, we'll leave it at that. I think we'll leave it at that. So we've got one character left to play with. H.P. Lovecraft. Lovecraft. Hopefully, 
I'll have my teeth in in the next episode. I did promise it for this ep episode, but I've, I've recorded in blocks. So if I'm about to mess up in one, I'm going to mess up in them all. So yes, HP Lovecraft. It's going to be the last explorer we, we're going to play through on, on the certain death. And then we'll be looking at doing something different with the episodes. Uh, as that will be all the explorers played through. We have reached the end. All explorers played. Not all explorers won, should we say. But all explorers played. So better than the kick in the nuts absolutely so thank you for watching as always a like is appreciated and i'll catch you on the next one and as always i will play this just to the end take it easy